morning YouTube Facebook welcome to yoga meditation this is how to lift your spirit a lot of us have questions about how to become more spiritual this is the class that's going to help you tune into that if you want to skip ahead to just the guided meditation we have 30 minutes of stretching and then 15 minutes of yoga meditation find wherever way you like to sit I like to do this just to start off because I know my knees need it. <laughs> if you've got cranky knees, this is a good way to start. If I'm too much in this pose and you're going, Athena, come out of the pose, come out of the pose, then windshield wiper your legs, okay? I'm going to ask you to honor your body. So any way that it feels. This is a gentle yoga meditation class, but sometimes when you first start off on med and any type of yoga, it hurts. It was for me. We're going to take the time right now to tune into our breath. Our breath is the most important thing and it tunes us into feeling the energy inside of us. So we're going to close our eyes, cup our hands on our knees, top of the thighs, and we're going to breathe in through the nose with the mouth closed, lifting the chest, lifting the sternum and stretching the shoulders back and breathe out, relax. Breathe in, lift up. And as you breathe out, keep your mouth closed. Breathe out, down through the throat. And what this does is it filters out 56,000 bacteria in the air. Breathe in, lift the chest up. And I'm gonna ask you to hold the breath here. Exhale slowly, relax. Even though the knees and the feet are feeling tight, find space around the joints and the muscles to relax. Find the hips relaxing a little bit. Find the shoulders dropping. And now that we're tuning in with our breath, go ahead and roll over onto windshield wiper on the side. Windshield wiper on the side one hand over the heart, one hand over the solar plexus. We do this a lot in our yoga classes because we want to tune into the feeling of our palms on our body. And as you breathe in, again, lift the chest. And as you breathe out, relax. Now the elbows are going to hug by the side and they're going to drop and the shoulders are going to drop. And what you're going to do is you're going to feel the belly fill up so it's filling up like Santa Claus. And when you feel it come back, belly button to spine, breathe out all the air. So you're breathing out all the air, belly button to spine, and you feel that constriction to squeeze in the abdominal. And then relax it. Good, now we're gonna open our eyes and look at our left palm. And as we look at our left palm, we're recognizing our bodies in the here and now, and that's really significant. Bring the fingers together and cup it. That sensation, we're gonna open it up all the way towards the left side. And we're gonna look all the way left. And inhale back to center, placing the left hand back on the solar plex or the heart, and then opening up the right all the way over. Inhale, reach back, ooh, yes. Exhale, bring it back. Place it back on the chest, the torso. Open up the left. Nice twist in the spine. Exhale, bring it back. Breathe in, open up. Breathe out, bring it back. Now we notice what windshield wiper knees are one way. We're gonna open them up and place them the other way and bring our hands back to the heart and to the solar plex. And we're gonna do that two more times on each side, only this time we're going to close our eyes. So we're tuning in with that breath, opening up, left arm all the way, stretch it all the way towards the back. Come back to center with the left hand. Open up the right all the way towards the back. And then back to center. Breathe in, open up 
left arm all the way, really stretch it back, really twist it and open. Back to center. Inhale, open, open. Right arm all the way back. Exhale, back to center. Drop your shoulders for just a moment, a nice breathe, inhale, exhale. Feel the hips relax, feel the knees relax, feel the shoulders and elbows. Good. Now we're going to open our eyes and cross our legs. Crossing our legs, left hand behind the back of the neck, right hand by the right side of the knee. Inhale, we're lifting up that left arm all the way, left elbow all the way towards the sky. Exhale, go ahead and drop that right elbow towards so you feel that nice stretch in the left side. And we're dropping the right ear to right shoulder. Again, if it gets too much, just adjust that hand any way you need to. And the whole idea is to really feel that stretch. And the trick is to keep both sit bones on the surface. Then when you inhale, open up that left elbow all the way towards the back. Ooh, feel that tightness, good. Exhale, release that tightness. Right elbow comes to the surface a little bit more. Yeah. Breathe in, open. Breathe out, relax. Inhale, open. Exhale, relax. Drop. Breathe in, open. Exhale, relax. Drop. Feel the knees bowing out. Ooh, that was a good one. Now we're slowly going to use that right arm to push us back up and slowly drop that left arm. That left arm's a little tingly, so let's get rid of any tingly sensation. Shake it out. Sweep away the heaviness. Bye-bye. There you go. Left hand, side of left knee, right hand behind the neck. Inhale, back, and exhale. Drop. Ooh, that's really tight. Loving these hip openers. This is a good hip opener sequence today. Inhale up. Exhale, drop left ear to left shoulder. Feel that stretch in the obliques all the way down to the hips. Inhale back that right elbow all the way. Ooh, that's nice. Exhale, drop. So we're relaxing. We're letting go. We're feeling the stress release. Breathe in. Open, breathe out, drop, relax, let go. And then we use that left hand to slowly push us up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Drop that right hand, come to butterfly legs. Feet together. Either the hands are on top of the feet or if you wanna go a little bit deeper, arms thread underneath and we walk the sit bones back so we have a nice wide butterfly and we get a deeper opening and we're going to inhale lift the chin up chest up exhale drop Ooh, thank you thank you thank you and while we're down here feel the shoulder blades feel the knees dropping out and now we're going to close our eyes and purposely fill up the body with breath. So fill up that belly all the way. And then when you slowly let it go, find yourself dropping forward a little bit more and relaxing a little bit more. So essentially we're inhaling one, two, three, four, if we can get there. And then slowly five. Seven, eight, whoo, that's good. Two more. Inhale. Slow exhale. So sometimes we think we're not in control of our lives. We're in control of how we feel in the body. 
Controlling the breath controls your body. Controlling your body controls your life. Breathe in. One, two, three. Breathe out. Three, two, one. Just feel those sh shoulders slide off the back. Feel that head dangle there. So the occipital ridge, your base of your skull is nice and relaxed. And the hands kind of release and just relax as well. The back of the hands into the yoga blanket. Slowly come up on the next inhale. And we inhale and come up so we're not as lightheaded. We're still going to get a little bit lightheaded, but that's okay. Straighten out the leg. Use the right hand on the outside of the left ankle, or if we can grab the toes, grab the toes. Either way, nothing is wrong in yoga, whichever, wherever you're at. It's a nice deeper twist. We're going to inhale, twist the body towards the left side. Exhale, drop right ear to left knee. And we're really going to feel that opening right in the IT band underneath. And again, if it gets to be too much, we'll hold ourselves up. Exhale, drop. So you're doing a slow motion dance with the body. You're twisting on the inhale towards the left. That left shoulder comes back. And you're exhaling nice and slow. Four. This gets rid of any tight hips, any sciatic problems. Breathe in. Breathe out, drop that right ear to the left knee. And we're using the resistance of our right hand to really lift and push our shoulders up and back. And then slowly allowing that right elbow to relax so that right ear comes to the left knee. Relax both legs, drop as far as you can go. Feel that release. Ooh. And we're slowly going to come up on the next inhale and do the other side. Left hand on outside of right ankle or right foot. Right hand will just rest it here. Twisting the body on the inhale, lifting that right shoulder all the way back. And then slowly exhale, dropping that left ear to the right knee. And nothing is like the yoga teacher is twisting like this. However your body can twist is right for your body. Breathe in. Bring that right elbow back. Right ear back. And then exhale. Feel the body dropping, letting go. That's right, Janelle. Just feel the release dropping off the body two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Breathe in, lift. Right elbow all the way towards the back. And then drop that left ear to the right knee. Feel the body falling forward more and more. And then just relax that left arm. Relax both legs. Oh, yeah. And then we inhale, slowly release that leg with the left hand and slowly come up. Now we can cross our legs or windshield wiper or come to hero's pose however you like in this comfortable seated position. We're going to work on our tight neck area. In our tight neck area, clasp the elbows behind you. Drop the chin into the chest. Roll the neck all the way over to the right shoulder, so the right ear and the right shoulder. Ooh, hello. Exhale. Drop your chin to your chest. Inhale. Left ear, left shoulder. And now go at your own pace. Just drop 
and round forward, right ear to right shoulder. Drop, round forward, left ear to left shoulder. Now close your eyes and concentrate on this one really in detail. We're gonna take the right ear to right shoulder and lift that left ear back towards the back. So you're getting that extra twist in that left side. Exhale, drop. Left ear to left shoulder, really lift that right ear all the way back. And then exhale, drop. One more time to the right. Ooh, that's a good one. Right ear to right shoulder, lift the left ear. Drop, nice and slow. Left ear to left shoulder, really bring back that right. And then drop, chin into the and when you drop the chin into your chest, feel the shoulders just melt towards the floor, towards the earth. Now we're slowly gonna inhale up, chin, and then back. This is kind of scary because our neck's kind of hurt in the occipital ridge, but we're gonna go slow with our necks, okay? Dropping our left ear to left shoulder, and then slowly rolling it all the way over, right ear to right shoulder. Whew, that's tight. Left ear to left shoulder. Yeah. Right ear to right shoulder. Nice and slow, left ear to left shoulder. right ear to right shoulder. Left ear to left shoulder. Right ear to right shoulder. And then we're slowly gonna bring the chin up. And as we bring the chin up, whoo, open the eyes, thank you. Shake out, sweep away any sensation. Hi Eric, how you doing sweetie, good? Morning, fabulous, good. Windshield wipe of the leg. Lace the fingers. Stretch them in and up towards the sky. Reach the chest up towards the sky. Breathe in here strong and breathe out. Hold the pose, but just relax those shoulders, relax the hips. So those hips are going, ooh, relax. Inhale, we're stretching it up. Ooh, yes. Exhale, relaxing. And you'll notice my eyes close a lot because I like to tune in to what the body's doing. It's stretching the armpits. It's stretching the hands. And then on the exhale, you feel the melting sensation, the let go sensation. One more time. Breathe in, reach out. And on the exhale, we slowly come down. windshield wiper legs the other way. And then the hands are gonna lace behind the back of the neck. Back, back of the lower lumbar, excuse me. We're gonna inhale, hyperextend those arms, keep those laced fingers up towards the shoulders. Ooh, hello. Exhale, bring them down. Now let's flow with the neck. The neck is gonna come up, the arms are gonna come up. Chin up, arms up. Exhale, bring the chin into the chest. Drop, and on the exhale, we're gonna hold it for two seconds here. Inhale up, chin up, arms up. Exhale, drop it down. Feel the release. Whew, feel the let go sensation one more time. Inhale, chin up, arms up. Really stretch those chest muscles. Exhale down. And when we reach down, just unlace the fingers and just drop the chin into the chest. Feel that release. Feel that aha sensation. Good, slowly come up with the head. Nice. Straight legs. 
and we're going to open our legs up about 12 inches. Hands are behind our back to stabilize our legs. We're going to open up, really open up the hips and press the side of the feet flat. Now the opposite direction. Come all the way forward. Good. This does some nice opening in the knees too. Out. And forward. Now when we go forward, we're extending. When we go out, we're flexing those toes towards the knee. Ooh, nice. Forward. Out. Forward. Out. One more time. Feet come forward. And then feet come out. And then relax it. Shake it off. Hi, feet. Thank you for what you did for me. Straight extension. Straight extension down. And flex it all the way up. So you're almost lifting them, the heels up above the blanket. Flex. Lift up. Flex. Lift up. Flex. Up. And this time when we flex, we're going to hold. Excuse me. Extend. Extend. We're going to hold here. And now flex. Hold there. Ooh, I can feel it in my knees. Awesome. Shake it out. Now we're going to do our fun back pose. Come all the way onto the back. When we come all the way onto the back, the knees are going to come up. The feet are flat. Slowly drop the knees to the left side. You're going to feel it in the opposite hips. And you're just going to do, repeat that motion from side to side. So windshield wipers to the right. Feel it opening in the left hips, windshield wipers, knees to the left. Feel the opening in the right hips. And you're pressing your knees towards so you get that extra extension. Good job. Keep going. Right. And left. Right. And left. Right. And left. And now the knees come all the way up. We're going to place our hands behind our neck. Now with our hands behind our neck, when we first start off this, sometimes the elbows get a little tingly. If that's the case, I want you to bring them down. If they get too tingly and if they get too numb, bring the knees up into the chest and rock the hip from side to side. Now we're going to stop in the middle here and really stretch out that tone that abdominal. We're going to come straight up with the legs and slowly lower the legs back down to about an inch above the surface and then bring them in. Straight up. Lower them back down. Good job, keep going. In, straight up, lower down. Core strength is important for our digestive system, all our organs down there. So toning the abdominal disease in our bodies. Okay, now we're gonna keep our knees into our chest here. And instead we're going to extend the left foot all the way. And when we extend the left foot all the way, the left toes are coming towards the knee. Now we're going to do the right. Bring in the left and do the right. And we're going to do that motion from side to side. 
Keep switching the legs, right, left, right, left. And we're doing it nice and slow. Because we can really feel those lower abs and those side abs. More time on each side. And then bring the knees both in. And we're going to wrap our arms around our knees and squeeze our knees into our chest really tight. Inhale, hold. And then exhale. Bring the hands on top of the knees. And as the hands are on top of the knees, rotate them towards the left side. So we're feeling that nice massage in the lower lumbar. Now we're going to start rotating it towards the left side. Excuse me, right side. Opposite direction where you were. <laughs> Sometimes the yoga teacher gets the mirroring sequence off. Bring the feet back down onto the surface. Now, you to Facebook, always carry your eye pillow and a pillow with you. The pillow, we can put our legs in a rolling rock position where we have the pillow underneath our knees, or we can place our feet on top of the pillow and open our knees out wide. This is one of my favorite positions, but it might not be yours. Whatever position you choose, I want you to be most comfortable. And we have a pillow, uh, we have a blanket on your so cover yourself up with a blanket and tuck yourself in. I'm doing this non-blanket for video purposes. Now with the eye pillow on, lift up the head off the surface and then slowly lower the back of the head back down. This straightens out the cervical. We're going to place one hand over the heart, one hand over the solar plex, but we want our elbows to relax nice and gently onto the yoga blanket. So if we have to slide our hands down our body, Make sure the elbows are relaxed. Tuck the chin into the chest. We're tuning into the power of spirit in this yoga class. And what we did during our asana practice is we tuned into the breath and feeling the breath in the body. And in the beginning of the class, we touched our hand over our heart and our solar plex. So we're learning the keys to stay in a meditative practice longer and longer. So you know how when somebody goes to the gym and they build that muscle in their arms, biceps and triceps and all the quads and different areas of the body. We do that same in our meditation and where there is certain strategic areas in the gym, there's also in our yoga class. The first one was breath. So inhale slowly, one, two, three, and hold the breath here. Slowly exhale, three, two, one. Now your spine should be in as much zero gravity as possible. Notice how the spine is hugging the earth, how your hips, that sacral bone, that triangular shaped bone right below the lumbar is touching the earth and it's flattening out. Now if, if you're in the position of Supta Baddha Konasana like we are, then, and it's too much for the groin muscle because sometimes that happens, press your feet down to get rid of that groin sensation we want about a three to four sensation rather than a eight to ten. We want to really feel relaxed. So the breath is the first key and following the breath in the meditation is essential. And as you felt the body lift on the inhale, you felt it drop on the exhale as well. So 
Now we're going to take a visualization technique. This visualization is going to start in the center of your brain. And we're going to tune into the power of the center of our brain. It is a pituitary gland, and we're going to pretend that we're going shrinking as little people into the center of our brain. And what it looks like in this gland, in this room that we're going to go into, is a planetarium, and all the stars are up above. So visualize in your own private room, planetarium with all the stars up above, and you're looking at the constellations in the Milky Way, and you're looking at the planets twinkle in the distance. And when your mind wants to wander, just bring it back to the breath control in your body. Bring it back to the touch that you're feeling underneath your palms. And look at your planetarium. Look at the stars. Feel how wondrous it feels to look at those stars. Feel how grateful it feels to be in this beautiful world underneath the stars. Come back to the breath, inhaling slowly, one, two, three, and then release it, three, two, one. And when you ask that question, how can I become more spiritual? by tuning into certain things that help us focus on the relaxation and the calmness in our body. And the number one thing of bringing that vibration higher and higher into your body is gratitude. And you say, Athena, well, I'm, I, I feel grateful for everything. So let's heighten that gratitude Think of the love you have inside your body. What does it feel like to be in love? What does it feel like to hug someone and love someone? What does it feel like to feel energy, feeling proud of yourself when you do something that you're proud of? Inhale deep and tune into that power of gratitude inside of you. And as you exhale, feel it float all the way down to your feet. Now go back to that special planetarium room inside of your center of your brain. The constellations the planets all around you. You are the center of your universe. You are the sun. And that sun is growing brighter and brighter. Think about all the power that the sun wields. Start feeling that warmth underneath your palms, seeping into your body. And 
as a result of that, you felt your body drop more and more, didn't you? Yeah. When we think of the sun, we think of the warmth in the sun, we think of how much power it has, because if we didn't have the sun, things wouldn't grow, right? Think of all the things that grow because of the sun, the flowers that come up and open up when the sun comes up, the grass that turns greener. You and I that feel happier inside because we are energetic and we're opening up to that power of the energy of the sun. Breathe in deep, slowly. And when you reach the capacity in your lungs, slowly let the air go. And your body drops more and you feel it melting into the earth a little bit more. So remember, we asked ourselves the question, how did I become more spiritual in the beginning of class? By tuning into your own quiet space in your mind and feeling gratitude. Bring a smile to that face to just open up the stress in the skull. Relax your smile, swallow, tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth, and just breathe. Slowly inhale. And slowly release it. On the next inhale, we're slowly going to bring our knees up and bring our knees together. And then we're going to drop our knees to the front, right or left, so we come into a fetal position and our eye pillow is going to fall off. And so our head is resting on the yoga blanket. And we're slowly going to take the next breath and straighten out the top leg to lift ourselves up to a comfortable seated position. And here's where we place both hands over the heart, close our eyes, and just tune into how our body feels now. Feel the softness behind the eyelids. Feel the drop of the shoulders. Relax the torso. Repeat out loud with me. Repeat. I am stronger in my body. I am stronger in my mind. Stronger in my life. Breathe in deep. And when we breathe out, we absorb the energy of those words into our very being. It flows all the way down to our feet. And we feel proud of ourselves for taking time out right now this morning for us. Hands to heart, thumbs pressed into the sternum. Namaste. 
Ooh, that was an awesome one, wasn't it? Yes. Yoga, living life, loving it to the fullest. YouTube, Facebook, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions. Appreciate your donations. Link down below. <laughs>